Hey what's up and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hello my name is Greg and today we have a good vlog. We're going back to the fitness vibe and I'm going to do a day in the life of a CrossFit Games athlete. So Sam Stewart, he's an Irish CrossFit Games athlete and he is unbelievable. Like he is ranked, I don't know, one of the top athletes in the world, best in Ireland, one of the best in Europe and he's been to the games, he's been there, done it, got the t-shirt. So I'm training with him today gonna do a full day with him so I'm really nervous <laughs> it's about 8 a.m. now so I'm just gonna have some breakfast really carb up to the for the day get some energy into me and then I head to the gym and meet Sam so I'll show you what I'm eating for breakfast and then we'll get stuck into the day so let's go so I'm just in the car here now on the way to the gym and I brought a little bagel with some scrambled eggs in it there's three scrambled eggs in this um, and I'm just in a line here now to get a little takeaway coffee because I'm gonna need the caffeine hit today and um, this is a cool little spot in Dublin called Smack Coffee I'll show you here now so you just drive up get your takeaway coffee and the gym is like five minutes away um, I am running a couple minutes late but I need the caffeine hit if I'm gonna try and in any way not make a fool of myself today training with Sam so really looking forward to it gonna get this bagel and egg into me get the coffee into me and then get to the gym and let's get going all right so we've arrived here at chapter 2 fitness in Sandyford in Dublin and the nerves are starting to build I'm just going in now to meet Sam and uh, it sounds like there's a lot of training going on inside so I'm a bit late unfortunately because I stopped to get a little bit of a coffee um, but I'm really looking forward to today I've done a couple of CrossFit sessions myself in the past and they've really humbled me and that was when I was on a professional training schedule and I haven't trained properly like that in a few months so today is going to be interesting but I'm really looking forward to it so let's go and meet Sam now Good. Oh, you've been training, or are you ready to go now? Uh, no, I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything yet today. I wrote something on the board. That was, <laughs> that that was, was it. It. I'm looking forward to today, man. I'm nervous though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You should be. <laughs> yeah. I was saying. Um, I was just saying to the camera just before I came in that uh, I've done a few crossfit sessions myself, but yeah. like they completely humbled me, and that was on a professional like training schedule. I haven't done anything like that in a few in a months. While. Now, so, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll take care of you today. Yeah. Like, it's all. Uh, it's all stuff you can do. I mean, yeah. there's probably levels, so it's probably like, okay, that's like crazy looking, but there's a level to it, so like, I'll find mine, and you'll yeah. be able to do something that kind of way. Exactly, man, yeah, we'll just see what works. It'd be fun though, seeing what I can do, and how close I can stay to you, like, yeah. that way, do you know what I mean? That'd be cool. Yeah. We should compare our, um, our stats, so, just before we get into our, our, stats. our stats. Choose your fighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you're about 84 kg, 85? About 87. About 87. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of your walking around weight, or that's your games weight, or I kind of just stay at that all the time. Yeah, even no matter what I eat, no matter what I train, I'm kind of always just about eighty-seven. That's the moment. Eighty-seven. I was about, I think it's, I was eighty-three playing. Now I'm seventy-eight, so I'm gotten light, man. I've lost a lot of muscle, but like I haven't put on any fat. I've just kind of gotten smaller since I'm not training as much. Yeah. Um, and what about your like crossfit time? So like myself, I've done a front and I did five fifty-five. I think I've done like a two ten. Jeez! Um, Fran, yeah. Oh my god. That's my best. That's yeah. that's really good up there in the world, isn't it? 210. Yeah, I think it's a decent score, like anything below, in anything in that range, is like, you're pretty much going all out and not stopping kind of thing. Yeah. I think to go any faster, you just need shorter arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's unreal. And um, what other one I did? I did um, Cindy. Cindy, yeah, so the 20 minutes of uh, push ups, pull ups, and squats. Squats, yeah. yeah. I think. I did 16 rounds and 14 reps. Mm -hmm. I think I was close to 30 rounds in that one. 30 rounds in 20 minutes? Yeah, 28 to 30 rounds in there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did double what I did. 30 rounds? No, maybe I'm sure not. Surely not. Definitely over 20, way over 20. Oh my like god. 25. Oh, I got 26, so you definitely got 30. You got 26? Oh yeah, I probably got 26. Four years ago, so. Yeah. How? That's not, like... You stop the clock for five minutes and you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're doing 30 rounds in, in 20 minutes. I was goose. And I hope... See, I, I nearly got bounced off there already. Now I want to straighten my arms and legs as much as I can. And then... Yeah, you're just trying to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nice. Okay, so when you're here, just squash the sides of your legs, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just look at your quads. Your quads. Let me see. Well, I've no calves, so that's a bummer. <laughs> oh my god, man. That is shocking. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that out. Leave <laughs> that photo. Yeah. Just follow your next step. Okay. Okay. Kind of so I'll show yeah. you one or two. So I'm here. Give us a look. Yeah. Yeah. Kick up. That's so easy. <laughs> yeah, so easy, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're doing all the work. But <laughs> Try and just like hold yourself. Hey. Lucky I got up in the handstand walk there. That was it was probably pathetic now when we watch it back, but um I didn't realise how much they work on technique, Sam and the boys here. Um, I just thought it was fully just like max out hard every time, let's kill ourselves, but very impressive stuff. So I'm looking forward to this first session, see how we get on. Good though. So what you make of that first session? Is that an easy session for you? Did you take it easy on me? I don't think I took it easy on you. Because I'm dying by the way. My legs here are already wobbly. <laughs> I can feel it as I'm sitting down that I can feel the lactic and I don't know if you've had the feeling in ever. Like, uh, yeah, I know. I, I do feel all the things. I you just still have get to it. deal with it. Yeah. yeah, you're just mentally tougher than me. Like, yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I'm just uh, yeah. maybe mentally stupider. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore the pain. Yeah. Well, that's the. I want to ask you about the, the mindset around CrossFit, man. Are you yeah. like... Do you do much work on like meditation and like focusing? Are you just like, oh, I enjoy this, I'm just gonna lift this bar and just keep going? A bit of both, like I've yeah. done some mindfulness stuff and uh, all that, but it, I almost find when you're in, I don't know if you noticed it earlier, but maybe because you're so new to it, the movements, but when you understand the movements and there's complete second nature and you're just going through it, it's almost like a meditation because you're just, you're, you know when like, if you've ever done mindfulness? Yeah, I've you know, tried it's, it. It's like you have to be just like okay with what's happening around you. Like that noise, you just have to the back noise, the background, or whatever it says, you just have to accept it and yeah, like embrace it almost. So you're it's just like kind of like in the moment, like yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can't be distracted thinking of other things. So like when you're in a workout, you could be thinking about how sore my legs are, but you really just need to be thinking about okay, keeping my composure, keeping um, like the next rep, the count, you know, like yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, am I doing everything right? You're not trying to think about oh, I feel like shit. Oh, yeah. my legs hurt. Oh, my, I'm breathing so heavy, you know? And yeah. One thing, I watched uh, one of the documentaries at Rich Froning, and he was talking about his mindset of 
just don't drop drop the bar and if you have to drop the bar count to like three seconds and then pick it back up again yeah. like stop thinking about being in pain mm. just pick it up and get the movement done is that you the way you always, think about it? I always think you always feel in so much more pain as soon as you stop so yeah. say you're doing the wall balls and you dropped it you go <gasps> like you'd be like <laughs> you start in, thinking about yeah, being in pain and then yeah. because you're not actually actively focusing on one rep at a time you're all you have to think about is how you feel because yeah. you're not doing anything yeah yeah so if you're active and moving it's more like a task thing like i'm trying to accomplish the task of x amount of reps but when you stop i just all you think about is oh i feel like abs absolutely terrible right yeah. now or whatever but um, I've, I've always noticed from the years of training so i did athletics and i did rugby for years like i've never died from a session like you're never going to die like you're oh, always yeah. gotten through it so that's what i always try to remind exactly. myself i always like, say to people from coaching you can do it in you could do your worst efforts. You could quit, you could stop, you could do a half-ass job, or you could do your best and absolutely smash the workout and be in so much pain, but get a really <laughs> good score. But 10 minutes later, you're going, your body is gonna feel the exact same yeah. either way. But the guilt on your consciousness of quitting early or slowing down is gonna eat you up for the next few hours. Yeah, so you might yeah. as well give your best effort and feel normal a few minutes later yeah. and you're proud. Exactly, you know? yeah. And would you say you're go to CrossFit and you've gotten to the games because of genetics or because of work ethic or because of a bit of both? I think it's worth that work ethic because like I'm not like, if you look at my family, like no one's like a super, I don't come from a sporty household or gifted athletes or, really? yeah. you know, it wasn't like when I was young, it wasn't like super, like always super strong or fit or anything like, but I always had like, I was probably just slightly competitive. Like I remember this one thing when we were in primary school, like there was a lap of the pitch of the school and like, I wanted to win that so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't like athletically gifted, but peop the kids who were athletically gifted didn't have it in between the ears. Yeah, like yeah. it's strange at that time. Even you're only like six or some seven, but they're like, "Oh, this is sore, so I'm stopping." I was like, "I'm going to beat them." Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. so I just kept pushing through. So there's obviously that in my mind somewhere. Yeah, I've always had that as well. Yeah. I remember one sports days. You probably did sports day yeah. as well, and we did a, a lap of the pitch. It was 800 meters, and I wanted to win so badly. I just took off, like sprinting, 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 and I collapsed over the finish line, and I started shaking, <laughs> I, and my body, free, I had to like go to hospital and everything, like I just pushed myself to complete exhaustion on a sports day, yeah, what the hell? insane, man, like it's crazy, because I just wanted to win so bad, but like, I totally get it, though. there's girls there, I wanted to impress the girls, oh, yeah. like the whole thing, and when like, you're so. six, uh, <laughs> the girls only care about who's the fastest runner in the yeah, exactly, that's like, that's like the, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's carrying on that mindset then, just so competitive. Like, but yeah. even even today, like in our first session, you took off, and I was like, my inner competitive person wanted to go with you, and I was like, if I even try to go with him, I'm going to die. Like, do you know what I mean? so I had to like hold myself back, and back like, to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. He's all, <laughs> yeah. He's all grown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And tell me about this Dubai competition coming up. Oh yeah, so Dubai is it's one of the bigger comps, um, in the in the off season of CrossFit. They have decent prize money. They. Uh, it's in, obviously in a cool location. It's uh, Dubai in December. You know, you yeah. want to get some sun at that Bad. time of the year. Yeah. Um, so they've invited 20 men and 20 women to compete at their competition. From all around the world. All around the world. Yeah. 20 people. That's unreal. Yeah, I was very happy yeah. to get invited. Um, and so I've been training for that. And is there prize money for the couple of top winners? Yeah. So like yeah. I say, in the top five, you get a certain amount. I can't remember. It's pretty big. I think if you win, you get like 70 grand. No way. Yeah. It's definitely what your time. So. Yeah, but I've, I'm, I'm for me. I have my own goals. I'm just like I want to do well for me. You know, I don't want to perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not one of these guys who are like, oh, I'm here to win everything. Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. yeah you be realistic with your goals, you know, and yeah. work towards what you can and yeah. prove it to yourself. I'm not, I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone else, but like myself. Really, exactly, you know? man. Yeah. yeah. You can tell you're very humble. Like, and getting to the CrossFit Games is really impressive to me. Like, but. You, you seem like, oh yeah, I just went to the games. Like, but you're like one of the only people in Ireland to ever do it, are you? Yeah. You yeah. and the girl up the north. Yeah, and some lads had done it uh, up north as well a few years ago. Um, but they'd done it in a different system as well. So mm. it's, I was pretty happy the way I got there, you know. Amazing, man. Yeah, you're very proud of yourself. I am actually. I, yeah. yeah, I am definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same with me and going to the Olympics. Like, yeah. Everything I did, so you said you started CrossFit at 14. I kind of really started trying to be a professional rugby player at about 14, 15. Yeah. And I remember, man, getting up early in the morning, get my mom to drop me to school at like 6 a.m., to train mm. on the pitch by myself, yeah. to go into school, yeah. like train afterwards. And all that stuff has just been worth it because I got to the games, like, do you know Yeah, I mean? but do you find like it's not, you know, like was it an instant payoff for you or was it no like way, kicked man. in yeah. months later? It was like, not. It, it, or did it ever even pay, like. It, was there's no single moment of payoff? It was like actually, I wouldn't say. Well, the 
climax of it and the apex of it was the Olympics and it all was just worth it but I just think mm. it was of course. as you said like you do the exercise you do the session and that's just money in the bank like do you know what I mean so I yeah. started training really hard when I was about 14, 15 all those sessions my agility sessions my extra skill sessions all built up and made me the player who I was to, yeah. to now I'm 26 and I got to the goal I wanted to get to like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. people think that it's such a quick fix and like you train for a few weeks why aren't I why aren't I incredible you've been doing this for 10 years yeah. do you know what I mean so <laughs> It's yeah. a bit different. <laughs> yeah, it's quite similar, man. Yeah. Some people say it's McDonald's culture. They want everything now. Yeah. You know, I've ordered it. And I want it now. Yeah. You can't, you know, like, where for us, it's like, okay, I got the ingredients. I cooked it. I, you know, built it up. You know, I exactly, made the meal. Yeah. Like, and then I served the meal. Like, it's, yeah. it's a longer process, but a well more, like, far more rewarding. Exactly, you know? yeah. It was sort of for both of us, like, for any, like, young boys or young girls watching, like, if you're looking to get to CrossFit Games or Olympic Games, like, it takes over a decade for both of us to do it. You know what I mean, yeah. and neither of us got paid much at all on the way yeah, there. Don't expect so. any sweet checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're happy in yourself. Yeah. Let's get there. Should we go training again? So let's go. Yeah. yeah. The grip is the hardest. Part. Win. Can't win. Are you ready? Nice. Nice. Then <laughs> Whoa, getting the flow then. Yeah. Could you show me again how, how you get the flow? Like you come down yeah, and so then I'm straight back So up. yeah, when I'm at the top, I'll fall behind the rings and then I'll sit on the next one and I'll swing up to the back. Oh. Yeah. Pass them up. Okay, come on. I'm fall back. Okay. Yeah, through. That's a bad, you weren't lying. <laughs> what, 555? How'd you go? Nice. 
Pass it back, baby. Based off. Pass it back, baby. Oh, the legs. The legs are handling all the Woo! Yeah, it feels better off. Oh, it's yeah, you, you are fried. The soreness okay. kicks in oh, afterwards, man. Yeah, it's worse now. You are dead. I'm going to go to the That's the acid bath. Okay, I don't know how you do this for fun, like. Honestly. You get fitted. Yeah. You get fitted for the sauna. You just don't the first one. Yeah. Even now, I'm still burning. Exactly. Don't get hurt. Yeah, it hurts. It's a nice pain, but it's sore, man. It's the best worst pain ever. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting worse, yeah. Oh, the delayed onset of an acid bath. Riggle Sam! Too easy, baby! So Greg, how are you feeling now after acid bath? Oh man, I'm just about recovering. It really got me in the quads. What about you? My yeah, quads, my glutes, my face hurts. <laughs> uh, everything. <laughs> yeah, man, five minutes of hell. I actually went out. Pretty well, I was like, oh, I'm not too bad. And then I got onto the bike and it was just... The bike is the killer. Yeah. Just the legs pumping at the end when your leg was already goosed. Yeah. Just to like go at that point is very difficult. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got off the bike where it really hit me. Like I understand why it's called acid back. You're, fo you're like, you're sore for at least 10 minutes after. <laughs> yeah. And it gets worse before it gets better. Yeah. Good way to finish a great day though, man. Like we did everything. I yeah. really enjoyed the technique stuff, like the muscle ups and mm. the toe to bar and everything like that. But then to finish off with something, like really like gut-wrenching, get to the well, like it's uh, yeah. I think you've gotten me the bug now, I think I'll be back. Good, I'm glad to hear it. But yeah. like, so obviously if we imagine we started with acid bath, you'd have no been, you'd have never got the muscle up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, you know? no chance, yeah. But it was great to see you like get involved, like it's, it's great having someone in the gym who's super positive, super up for trying stuff, uh, keen to learn, like a lot of people think they know everything. Yeah. You're here and you're like all like you're a sponge, Asking so many questions. Getting like, questions, getting involved, getting stuck in. Yeah. And just like, obviously you're an athlete, so you take to it really well, but it was just, I think it was your attitude that really like, uh, yeah. helped you like, oh, I want to learn. I, I want to do that, this. Man. Yeah, know? thanks very much. It's nice coming from a rugby background where it's like really the same stuff every day, like rugby pitch skills, then the same kind of gym lifts, where this just like such a new challenge. Mm. And I loved it. I was like a kid again for the first time trying a sport. Like, oh, so great. Like, thanks very much for, for taking the time. Oh, my pleasure, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Pleasure. Best luck in Dubai. So I'm back home now after a long day of working out. Oh my God, was I absolutely humbled today. Like I thought I was fit and I was a professional athlete for a decade and I am fit, but Sam is just at another level and that's why he is at the top of the CrossFit Games and he's gone to the games and everything like that. So I really enjoyed the day. It was such a new challenge for me and I'm loving trying different types of training. I'm definitely gonna get the bug for CrossFit now. I'm definitely going back and gonna try some more sessions, try and improve. I really enjoyed like the techniques of say the ring muscle ups and the toe to bar and just learning different movements and just trying and pushing myself. And then at the end when we had the acid bath, oh my God, was it tough, but really enjoyable as well. That good type of pain. Um, so I really enjoyed the day and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And also don't forget to give Sam a follow on his Instagram. He has loads of content coming out and he's going to Dubai. So see how he gets on and hopefully he'll be at the games again next year. So support the Irish lad. He's a serious athlete, nice guy as well. So give him a follow and also comment underneath if you enjoyed the video, if you're liking the kind of fitness videos or any other content you want to see from me, let me know in the comments. And also do not forget to press the subscribe button because I'm really enjoying getting content out to you guys. I'm going to bring a lot more to you. So press that button and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.